All right, folks, you've seen me test mail armor on my channel, but you know what? That's too mainstream. Let's do a different type of mail armor. What am I doing with my life? All right, so we have about 125 envelopes, which means basically 250 layers, because each of them is two layers of paper. And on the back is just a piece of yoga mat as you know, a backing. So that would be you know, like a cloth layer underneath. It is a sealed up with glue. It has some give, like some parts of it you can push in like this, are kind of squishy. Other parts not so much, it depends on how firmly everything was together when it was glued. I could have made this a lot better if I had clamped everything together, but I didn't really have a good setup to do that in, in a curved arrangement. So the more compression you have, the, the harder it's going to be the lower profile it's going to be the better it's going to be in the end but we'll see how this does this is just about the maximum that i would consider wearable it's really thick so it's quite bulky but then again a gambeson is also pretty bulky so this should still be just about wearable i wouldn't want to increase the thickness much more than that so the setup is a little bit weird like he <laughs> You don't normally have bones in your belly, but this guy does. You know, just this, with the setup and the straps we had, that's just how we had to do it. Live with it. So, he said peanut butter cups suck. Oh, Punish him. Well, that already went pretty deep. I'd say it's probably about, hmm, a fifth maybe? of the entire thickness. It's quite a few layers, but we have plenty, so there's quite a bit more to go. Good slash, but the guy would be safe. That wasn't even that hard of a hit. No, it really wasn't. Oh, man. Shadow is a bit of a problem right now. There we go. Okay. So, where it hit the edge, it could concentrate more of the force and kind of bite in from the side as opposed to being distributed across the flat. And on the side, we're basically, I don't know, three quarters through, it looks like. Uh, yeah. In the center, that's, that's pretty damn deep. Yeah, you know what? I think that's, that's about three quarters, too. Yeah. So you almost got it. Oh, man. But, I mean, it is kind of impressive Could that... A, hit it with that sword? Yeah, or? that a, a bunch of envelopes would stop that. Well, let's see how it deals with... Yeah. <laughs> oh! Was that right in the previous cut? Just above. Okay, above. Previous cut is there, and then right above is where the, the fox entered. There, you can see it on the inside. That's where it poked through. <laughs> I 
cut into it but not quite as far as before so he would be safe after this just the impact itself that would still suck Okay, so that went through yep. right there. You can just about see it. However, not very deep. Like if, if that was just went in without any armor, that would be nasty. That would go right until the hilt. This is the part that it actually sliced through yeah. and then it this intersected. Was that, that custom crazy blade. Yeah. Yeah. Neat. Yeah, this is. Yeah, we're running out of space. We could basically do one more cut perhaps here, but that's about it. Let me see what I got. You know, as much as it it's getting torn apart. I'd rather be hit wearing this arrangement of paper here than just take a machete to the body like that. It just doesn't have the durability. But damage absorption, oh yeah. I mean, this is a, a very thin, very sharp machete and it makes short work of soft material like this. Like you can see that there's, um, yeah, you can basically see exactly how many layers are left there. That went pretty damn far, but nothing on the inside. So, the wearer would actually be okay. Yeah, it went through, I can feel it. Yeah. Not very far though, this would probably be like, I don't know, this much? So, minor flesh wound? Oh shit, it's nice. just a flesh wound. Hey. <laughs> I'm surprised how well it holds up against the thrusts. I kind of expected the thrusts to just go straight yeah. through as if there wasn't much there. But I think it's, because it's a little bit less compressed, yeah. it's slowing it down more. I think against cuts it might actually be better if it was more compacted and harder. But for thrusts. But the thrusts? Yeah. yeah. Cool. Show I mean, it, it might actually be better if overall if it was more compact. I definitely see a lot of the layers separate. This might just be the insides of the of the envelopes mm. because those were not Glued covered. Inside. So if, if I had, I could do this better if I just used individual like single layers of paper and had glue between all of them. And <laughs> oh, <laughs> I think it's. I think, I think it's I think inside it's of Bob. Almost as deep as it went without anything. Because there comes a point where just the natural curvature stops it. There. Yeah. Oh man. It's like the entire blade essentially. That That's what we got. Dead. Wow. That went through all the paper, all the gel, and into the torso. And into Bob. <laughs> Poor Bob. It is a very specialized weapon, but what it does, it does well. And that was kind of a medium hit, like it's not even full power. Yeah. Okay, yeah, the rondelle, rondelle. is there. Through there. Mm. This was your funky... Yeah, the scythe. Scythe thing. Tonfa scythe. Like, yeah, there it that is. big wide <laughs> thing through there. That was ridiculous. So at that angle, yeah, that's this. Yeah, right there. Yeah. This one went oh, like very, right very edge. close to all the way through. Man. Like that, that was really good. That, that was, um, what was it again, a custom saber? Yep. Yeah. That thing cuts well. I like it. It does. The, the recurve really helps. Mm -hmm. So that was pretty crazy. And yeah, you can really see there isn't a whole lot of glue inside. So if I had, if I had used single layers of paper and just had glue in between all of them, this would all be saturated with glue and this would be much stronger and more compacted. So it might actually be better next time if I, if I do this again. It might actually be better to just clamp everything flat to make sure it's all compressed. 
and uh, that should do quite well. I mean, considering <laughs> this is what, 350 worth of envelopes <laughs> from the dollar store? Uh, considering that, you know, like three to four bucks and about two hours of work and you have something that can tank a couple of hits with, with swords and stabs and all kinds of things. It's actually not too terrible. I mean, it's not durable, but it, it would save your life a couple of times. I'm just gonna throw like sparring level here. Yeah, okay. So, just to see how well it absorbs blunt impact. Okay, go ahead. Hmm, that was all right. I can hit harder than that. Yep. Yep, <clears throat> yep. this is about actually kind of similar to sparring gear. Yeah. So, I it, would be. It, it hurts, but like you could hit this pretty hard and it wouldn't break anything. It would bruise, but I think it's pretty decent. As opposed to taking this just on my naked leg, that would suck. Oh yeah. 